I wanted to write a book about exceptional women, and I really had no idea what that meant. And to me, it meant something, women who had done something beyond the extraordinary. And so I would come up with a topic, and I'd go see my writer friends, and I'd say, okay, I'll come up with the idea, and here's what it is. And they said, oh, God, how boring can you be? You're going to be the only one that reads that book. I'm the least political person in the world. After my vote, I could care less. <laughs> it happens after that, I uh, And I don't even know a politician, so to me, there was absolutely no way for me to write that book. She kept badgering me, I mean badgering me, because she thought it was really a timely topic. With, and that was before Hillary and Sarah, so it was, that even had nothing to do with it. Finally, I decided, okay, and it was really just to keep her off my back. She had a friend, a good friend, who was uh, Deborah Pignatelli, who was the exec on the governor's council. She had been a, I think she had also been a senator, but she had been a, a state rep, and she was now on the executive council for the governor. She set me up an appointment with her, and we talked, uh, we sat across her kitchen table, and we talked. I don't even know that it took me 10 minutes. I was hooked. I have found that these women are the most fascinating group of dedicated women. They're hardworking. They go way beyond whatever the norm is and work really, really hard. And so I was hooked and I just took off from there.